Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today I want to take a look at an example from section 9.6. This is number 11. I got a request for this in the forum, and it says solve the problem using a system of three equation. It's an unknown, uh, in three unknowns, and Kramer's rule. And it says, uh, Jaqui, Angie, and Kara will not disclose their ages. However, the average age of Jaqui and Angie is 29. The average age the average for Angie and Kara is 31, and the average for Jaki and Kara is 19. How old is each? All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to assign, assign uh, a variable to each one of them. So uh, Jaqui, actually I'll do it uh, over here. Let me make that a little thinner. Um, Jaqui, we're going to call that X. Angie, we'll call Y. Do a little bit better of a Y here. And uh, let me go ahead and make that a little thicker here. All right. So uh, Jaqui, we got an X. Angie, we have a Y. And Kara, we have a Z. So looking at the uh, three constraints or piece of information they give us, uh, the average of two things, just you add them together and divide by two. So for example, the average of 10 and 20 would be 15 because 10 plus 20 is 30 and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, Jackie and Angie, um, that's X and Y. So, X plus Y divided by 2 is equal to 29. And then we also have Angie and Kara, that's Y and Z. So, Y plus Z divided by 2 is equal to 31. And then finally, Jackie and Kara. That's x and z, so x plus z divided by 2 is equal to 19. Now, quite honestly, this would be a lot easier if we did some kind of substitution, but uh, we're going to use Kramer's rule, which it's going to be a beast, but uh, hopefully this will help. All right, so first I'm just going to multiply each equation by 2 to get the 2 out of those denominators. So this first one becomes x plus y is equal to 58. The second one becomes y plus z is equal to 62. And the last one becomes x plus z is equal to 38. All right. Um, that just gets rid of all my fractions. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in a matrix. All right, so my first column, I have an X and a Y, but no Z. So a one for X column, a one for Y column, and a zero for Z column, because there's no Z. The second one, I have a Y and a Z, but no X. So I'll put a zero where the X goes, a one where the Y goes, and a one where the Z goes. And lastly, I have X and Z. So that's the first and third columns. So it's going to look like this, one, zero, one. And then we'll have the constants, which are 58, 58, 62, and 38. All right. And the way that we do Kramer's rule is x is equal to the determinant with respect to x over just the determinant of the whole matrix. And then we have y is the same thing d sub y over d, and our z variable, we can do the same thing. Find the determinant with respect to z over the determinant. So I'm going to have to find all these things. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So the, um, the x variable here, uh, what we're going to do is, is pick a column um, and a row here. And then uh, for the dx, the dy, and the dz, we're going to go ahead and use each element in that row or column and with the minors as well, expansion by the minors. That's where we cancel out that, that row and column and then make a 2x2 two two matrix with the remaining elements there. All right, so let's go ahead and use this first column here. Um, all right, so when we do the... Uh, the determinant of the entire matrix, we'll call this entire matrix equal to A. Uh, what we're going to do is, all 
All right, um, the determinant of A is equal to, we're going to go right down this column here. So this is equal to the first element, which is 1, times the determinant. If we cancel out that first row and first column, we're just going to get the 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. And then we're going to do a minus here. Um, and the minus, we're going to use the 0 there times the determinant of, if we cancel out the row and the column that the zero is in, I'm going to get 1, 0, 0, 1. And lastly, um, I'm going to do plus, so it alternates. It starts with plus, minus, plus. Um, unless you're doing the second column or the second row, then it's minus, plus, minus. So, uh, so try to do the first column or the first row. Um, but then we're going to do plus the last element here, which is 1. Uh, and then we're going to cross out the third row in the first column there, and then we get 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is going to be equal to 1 times the determinant. You just take the, the diagonal, multiply it together, and then subtract the off diagonal. So this is 1 minus 0 times 1, which is 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. And then we are going to say minus 0 times Anything is just 0, and then we're going to do a plus, and this is going to be 1 times 1 minus 0, which is 1. And we're going to end up getting 2 for the determinant of A by using this formula. This formula is also on page 744 if you want to look at an example. All right, so let's go ahead and do, uh, and really this is D in this case, so we're going to end up dividing all of these by 2. So let's do uh, d sub x next. Alright, and this is going to be equal to uh, the uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the matrix here and we're going to replace the first column with this column here. So that's 58 and then we'll keep the second column and the third column. Or just, we're just uh, removing the x column, which is the first column. So 58, and then 1, 0. And then we're going to have uh, 62, 1, 1. And then we're going to have 38, 38, 0, 1. All right. And now, in order to find the determinant of this, um, this is going to do the same thing that we did up here. So it's going to be 58. And then we're going to take the determinant of, uh, we're going to cross out that first row, first column. So we get 1, 1, 0, 1. So that's 1, 1, 0, 1. And really, we're going to end up getting the same as these three here. So then we're going to get minus a 62, the next element in that column times the determinant of 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And then finally, we're going to do plus 38 times the determinant of uh, the minor here, where we remove the row and column that the 38 is in. So that's going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And this is going to be uh, 58 times 1 minus 0 is 1, minus 62 times 1 minus 0 is 1, plus 38 times 1, oops, uh, 1 minus 0 is, I mean, 1 minus 0 is 1. All right, so pulling out the calculator here. Uh, we are going to just go ahead oops, and add all those up. So this is going to be 58 minus 62 plus 38. And we're going to get 34. So this is equal to 34. Therefore, x is equal to uh, d 
d with respect to x. That's the determinant with respect to x over the determinant, which is equal to 34 over 2, which is equal to 17. So what that means is that, oh, that means that Jackie is 17 years old. And then we can do the same things with the other ones. So dy uh, sub y, and um, let me, that's going to be, we're going to replace the second column with our constants. So 58, 62, and 38. And then we'll keep the first and third column. So 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 1. And then we are just going to do the same thing with the one, excuse me, um, with the, well, we could just do it with the one, the zero, and the one here again. So it doesn't really matter which one we do here. So uh, the first element times uh, that minor 62, 1, 38, 1. Removing that first row and first column, minus 0, and then we're going to get 58, 0, and uh, 38, 1, 38, 1, and finally, we're going to add the 1, this is from this position, and then cross out that row and column, and we get uh, 58, 0 and 62, 1. So when we do this, I'm going to get 1 times 62 minus 38. Uh, that's uh, 48, 58, 62, so that's going to be 24. And then we're going to do minus, that's just going to be end up being 0, and plus 1 times 58 minus 0 is 58. So what is 58 plus 24? 68, 78, 82. So this is equal to 82. Therefore, uh, therefore y is equal to the 82 over 2, which is equal to 41. So let's see if that works out for this one. If we look at the average of 17 and 41, this is x and y, um, that's going to add up to, what is that, 58, and then 58 divided by 2 is 29, so 29 should be that, oh, that first average there, right, um, and it was, so that works out for x and y. Now, man, this is moving all over the place, let's do the last one here. Right, so um, the D sub Z here, that's going to do, this time we're going to keep the first, so the 1, 0, 1, and the 1, 1, 0 from the A matrix, and then we're going to replace the last one with, uh, oops, uh, 58, 62, and, uh, 38. And then we're going to do the same thing. So this is 1 times the determinant of, remove that first row and first column, 1, 62, 0, 38. And then we are going to say minus, because it starts plus, minus, plus, as long as you're on the first or third row or column. Uh, so that's going to be a minus and then a zero times whatever that is. So 158, 0, 38. And finally, we're going to have a plus 1. And then we're going to take the determinant of, remove that third column, third row and first column. You're going to get 158, 162. And let's go ahead and do this. So this is going to be 1 times 38 minus 0 is 38, minus 0, because 0 times anything is 0, 
plus 1 times 62 minus 58 is 4. Um, so this is going to be 38 plus 4, which is equal to 42. And then finally, to get z, that's going to equal the d with respect to z over the d, which is equal to 42 over 2, which is equal to 21. And that should be your last answer. And let's check it. 41 plus 21 is 62 and half of 62 is 31 so y plus z divided by 2 is 31 that's right and then finally x plus z divided by 2 so that would be 17 plus 42 so that would be uh, uh, 17 plus 21 which would be 38 and 38 divided by 2 is sure enough equal to 19 so those are all the correct values all right guys I know it's a lot of work. Um, you just have to kind of follow the code. One way to look at it is also like this with a um, three by three matrix. It's going to be alternating starting with plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and plus, minus, plus. And you do these to whatever row and column that you're expanding the minors about. So notice that when I go through this one, this one, and this one, I start with a positive, and then I do a minus, and then I do a positive. So if I were to use the second column, um, I would start with a negative, then go positive, and then go negative. All right, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and have a great rest of your week. Thanks.